Shogun is a 10-part TV series on Hulu and FX based on the novel by James Clavell. Set in 1600s feudal Japan, it follows the division of Japan by the recent death of the Taiko, leaving behind a seven-year-old heir. A council is formed of Busho, the largest landholders in the five regions, to guide the land through the transitional phase until the heir can lead. The Portuguese have already been trading in the area and have converted some of the populace to Catholicism. The Busho see the weapons of the Europeans as an asset that could sway the balance of power. Enter John Blackthorne, a pilot on a Dutch merchant vessel who, along with the remnants of his crew, have washed up on the shores of Japanese islands. Lord Yoshi Toronaga has been called to Osaka to answer the accusation that he's been amassing power against the wishes of the late Taiko. And the stage is set. You will have difficulties with the names. Right now, I just think of everyone as variations of the samurai. The samurai in yellow. The samurai in green. The samurai with the moustache. There are three main characters so far. John Blackthorn is the English sailor washed up on the shores of Japan. He claims to be a simple merchant washed off course, but he seems to be well armed for a humble trader of wares. Lord Toronaga, one of the Busho, and seemingly the first pawn to be sacrificed so that the other Busho can gain more power. He appears to be wise and honourable, yet he is also aware that the world they knew is changing. Mariko is the Japanese woman who has been appointed to be Blackthorn's interpreter and teacher. She seems to be good at persuasion and knows the ways of the upper levels of society well enough to sway people towards her way of thinking. Other cool characters so far include Kashiki Yabushigi, Lord of Izu. He seems to have a fascination with death. He also likes to watch. I like Rodriguez, the Spanish sailor who acts as interpreter and teacher for Blackthorn early on. He seems like he's good fun and full of knowledge of the Japanese, but from an outsider's perspective. Fun fact, he was portrayed by John Reese davies in the 1980s adaptation. Nesta Carbonell plays him in this new adaptation. He's the mayor from Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight films. So far, the show has been really focused on who is in control. Who is in control of the country? Who is in control of his emotions? Who is in control of his subordinates? Who is in control of their desires? And also, what happens when that control is taken away from you? Do you accept it or do you fight back? Obviously, it's a classic fish out of water story. The Englishman in a strange land. But it's made even more interesting by the fact that the Portuguese are here first. So now they have to learn the new ways and also combat the sabotage from their Catholic enemies. Combine this with the country of Japan being in turmoil and certain factions embracing the European ways and you've got a multifaceted story. The cinematography is absolutely gorgeous with lush Japanese landscapes rising from the dark waters and ghostly sailing ships emerging out of the fog, making the show a feast to the eyes. You'd never know it was shot in Vancouver. Effects work is done well too, with CG cities blending perfectly into physical sets. The ships look very good, and the scenes on the ocean made me want to hold my breath. The real star of the show has to be the costumes. From tattered sailor's rags, through modest peasant wear, all the way up to elegant robes worn by the very highest officials. So much detail, right down to the sandals they wear. We're only one episode in, so it's always hard to score a new show. Things that seem inconsequential now could be the key to the whole story in later episodes. I'm currently very optimistic. I'm giving Shogun Chapter 1, Anjin, an 8 out of 10. The story has gripped me pretty well so far. There's multiple angles of conflict to explore here. The civil war, the inter-family dynamics, the foreigners with the new customs and technology. All of these could be a fascinating episode on their own. The fantastic effects, sets and costumes really sell the idea that this is back in feudal Japan. I had an absolute blast watching Shogun and I can't wait to watch the second chapter. Thankfully, they released two episodes on the first day. Thanks for watching. 
If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. I release reviews occasionally when time allows, and a thumbs up would be a big motivator for further reviews. If you didn't like it, feel free to leave a thumbs down and let me know how I can improve in the comments below. Anyway, I'm Mixie, thanks for your time, and have a good one.